Hi guys, Lindsay here with Frontline Arts and today I'm going to do this quickie tutorial showing you how to wipe a printing plate. And the first thing that you need to do is put some gloves on. I'm putting on these black nitrile gloves and I have my little plate. This is a zinc plate that I was printing for a contract job. And I have one of those little shelf liners that I use to put under my plate while I'm wiping it and while I'm inking it so that it doesn't move. Um, it gets really dirty and that's why you can see all the little black dots underneath it. So it's a little bit bigger than my plate, which is nice and nifty. And I'm going to struggle to get my gloves on <laughs> again. Um, so I center that on there and now I have one of those auto spatulas, but you could use little card chips and I am remixing my ink slab just to make sure my ink is nice and the right consistency. Makes it easier to wipe. Um, and I'm using Charbonnel 55981. Um, just the traditional etching ink, not the aqua wash. And I take a little bit of ink, less than you think you need. And I am taking my spatula and just really pushing the ink into all those crevices on the plate. This isn't a, uh, when you're using little chips, it takes a little bit longer. The nice thing about using an auto spatula is it's a wider surface area. I just make sure to go into multiple directions so that the ink is getting pushed into multiple directions. And now I'm taking a nice dirty piece of tarlatan. To make a tarlatan ball, you just want to take a nice square piece or off square. You stretch it by the bias, the two corners, until it's nice and stretched. And then you kind of rotate it into a ball. Um, at Frontline, luckily, we have a lot of balls already made. You don't really need to do that. Um, but I'm taking that ball in my hand, making sure the bottom is flat. And now I was kind of like pushing the ink in to get some of that excess ink off. And now, because that plate is tiny, it was easier to wipe my hand. I'm taking my Tarleton ball and I'm kind of making my hand like a ball joint. That's the way Rachel describes it. And I love that. Um, and I'm rotating my plate and just wiping in circles, taking off all that excess ink while simultaneously pressing the ink into those grooves. So I do it until I can start to see a slight bit of the image. That just comes with time, um, but I'm showing you right now about where I stop. I'm starting to see some of the whites of the image. And then I'm taking a piece of foam book paper one side's dirty, but we like to use materials until, you know, we don't want to waste. Um, so I'm taking the clean side. I'm just taking the palm of my hand and just wiping that plate, making sure to focus around the edges. New beginners, um, beginners to printmaking have a bad habit of really just focusing on the center. And then they almost have this vignette of black around their plate. Uh, so you really want to focus on making sure that those edges are nice and clean. So my plate's starting to get nice and clean, but now I have to take my fingers because this plate is a little bit older and it had some tricky spots. So normally when I'm wiping a plate, I really only use the palm of my hand, but on smaller plates like this and plates with details and stuff in the corners, I sometimes need to take my index and middle finger and kind of just focus on those edges just to make sure they're nice and clean. See there's a little dot there on the plate, so I'm just paying special attention there to make sure it's not holding too much ink. That'll print super dark when we print. When you're additioning, you wanna make sure that you're doing this the exact same way every time. So once you get a good proof, you can count how many times you're wiping and then try to repeat that. It's a little bit tricky. It's not something that you really need to worry about unless you're doing like this full, really nice addition. If you're just proofing, it's not the end of the world. So that is my finished plate. I'm just showing you it so that you can get an idea of what a well wiped plate looks like. Um, I don't have a lot of plate tone. I like my whites very white, my darks very dark. That's just the way I print. Um, but sometimes your plate might be a little grayer depending on the ink you use, the oils you mix in, and the like. 
And now I'm just taking a rag and I'm wiping the edges of my plate. And really, I'm just wiping it in this video to show you what it looks like as I'm wiping. Um, but I actually usually press it up against my chest while I'm wearing an apron. And I then, which is what I'm doing right now, which is why I'm off screen, um, because I need to get that pressure to get a really nice wipe. Because especially if plate edges are slightly gritty, they're going to hold a lot of ink and it'll look really sloppy if you print it. So then I throw my rag to the side and my plate is thoroughly wiped and ready to be printed. So this video is kind of intended as a companion video to our different etching workshops so that we can show you guys how to do each step and have a resource for you guys to go back to. Right now I'm taking off my gloves. I just put my plate on the press. I'm taking off my gloves and I'm ready to go print. So if this helped you, let us know. If you want any other printmaking shorts, little short bits of information, let us know and I'd be happy to show more stuff like this. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.